Well, it's a tale of two families brought together by young love, yet torn apart by deception amid the backdrop of World War II. It is Arthur Miller's All My Sons and is hitting the stage at the Fine Arts Center with us here this morning to talk about it. The director of the show, Alan Osborne. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's talk. Let's set the show up a little mm -hmm. bit. What's it about? It's about two families who grew up in, uh, in the post-World War II. Uh, and one family uh, worked for the other. Joe Keller was a, a businessman in a machine shop. And there was a little incident with some machine heads, and one person went to prison and one person didn't. And we find out a little bit more as the play goes on, basically. But you don't <laughs> want to give it all away. I, it's tough. It's tough. You, you go, uh, you don't want to say that, you don't want to say that. Because it, it's a play, the way that it was constructed is backwards. So you find out things as it goes along. So it's, uh, but you know, in the meantime, there's a wonderful love story between one of the sons. So and, and Arthur Miller, I mean, some of you know when you think of his work, think of the Crucible, right. Death of a Salesman. But this is one. This was his first critically acclaimed play, right? Right, right. He had written a couple of plays, and he got to this one, and he uh, he left it on the shelf. He wrote it. And he was going to just put it on the shelf and not even look at it again. And if somebody came by, he was going to say, hey, I wrote a play once upon a time. And he was going to write novels. And then uh, like eight days after he finished it, he gave it to somebody and like three producers wanted it. So, uh, and then came Death of a Salesman. Then came The Crucible. So he was, he was ready to hang it up. He, uh, I actually got the opportunity to spend some time with him. And he said, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. After I write this, I'm done. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah. So you hobnob with Arthur Miller. I don't know that I hobnobbed. When I, <laughs> when I, was, when I was in grad school I, I, I there was a fundraiser and they needed somebody to drive him around and I was an intern in the development office and I said I I'll do it right. I'll do it so I spent uh, like three days with him and some other some other people had originated his role so and we actually went and saw a production of all my sons at the alley theater in Houston so that was an experience just and I ended up sitting next to him which was kind of a mistake but it was interesting <laughs> to and, you know you don't laugh oh yeah, okay. Well, now right. I can laugh. Yeah. So it was it was quite a, it was an experience. And he was he was very solemn and very quiet, but enjoyed the show. Did that change your perspective when when you came to direct this show here? Completely. Completely because of his passion for the show. Because he really did. He was he was going to be done. And he he finished the show, then he set it off to the side and then he brought it back and cut it. And he said every single word I want it to be perfect. You know, a lot of times when you write something, you go, oh, I'll change this and this, but I think this is okay. Every word he wanted to make sure is right. So I really, after, after, after having had these conversations with him, I, I'm, you know, when I think, oh, well, let's cut that, you know, and or if or but, and it's like, eh, we can't because I know, you know, lightning may strike me because <laughs> right. you were in the car, bud, when he said right. this. So we try to be very, very religious about this. To the so, letter. Yeah. If you'd like to see all my signs, it kicks off this Friday night. Uh, the dates are March 19th through April the 4th. It's every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you'd like to learn more about the play, you can log on to the website, csfineartcenter.org. Alan Osborne, thanks so for coming Always a in pleasure. And, and showing a little sign of Arthur Miller. We did right a little now. bit, a little so. bit of a sign.